Hotline. Garrett Glazer has our story. The Abyss is billed as an epic adventure about a team of civilian divers working on an experimental underwater oil rig. Their search for a missing nuclear sub takes them on an odyssey of beauty, danger, and courage thousands of feet below the Atlantic. You can send down whoever you like, Commodore, but I'm the tool pusher on this rig, and when it comes to the safety of these people, there's me and then there's God, understand? Actor Ed Harris stars as the rig foreman. It was kind of a day-to-day -day learning process. There just wasn't any way to prepare for, for a lot of the situations. You were never a scuba diver, and yet when you watch the movie, you look very at home in the water and in that environment. No, I was a land lover. <laughs> I was in Iowa actually visiting my wife who was working on a picture when I got the part and the rest of the cast had gone down to the Cayman Islands, which is a beautiful place to learn how to scuba dive. And I, I, got, I got trained by a guy uh, on the Mississippi River in Dubuque. You are the most stubborn woman I ever knew. Yes, I am. Set against the backdrop of the adventure is the relationship between the rig foreman and his project engineer. She is his soon-to-be ex-wife, Lindsay, played by Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. How dangerous was this? Really? Well, it was very dangerous considering what was, what was going on and uh, the underwater things. It was as much an exercise in acting and hitting one's marks as it was a mind game about keeping calm and not panicking at certain times, actually. I don't do anything dangerous. You know, it's really that simple. The writer and director of The Abyss was James Cameron of Terminator and Aliens fame. Cameron discounts tales of danger on the set. We shot for 142 days and there were no injuries. Now you take your average car crash movie and you're doing worse. Instead of the ocean, The Abyss was filmed in part at a never completed nuclear power station in South Carolina. The filmmakers converted a nuclear reactor containment building and a turbine pit into two gigantic underwater filming tanks. 20th Century Fox hopes it's not placing 50 million dollars plus into an abyss. This star-studded premiere in New York is but part of the studio's costly publicity splash for the movie in hopes of helping the abyss ride the wave of big money summer movie blockbusters. Garrett Glazer, Entertainment This Week. The Abyss is based on a story that writer-director James Cameron wrote when he was 17 years old.